Hello and welcome to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. I'm BirdieBot and I've actually changed up our setup a little bit here. I've started a character off camera because I, after dozens of unsuccessful attempts, I finally created a character that has survived past the first eight days. Now this character started with the scenario experiment and the profession that I chose was willing volunteer. This means, this scenario is really cool and it's brand spanking new. It means that I can actually start with mutations, which I love. I love the mutations in the game. So I've started with canine ears. I've also started as a carnivore, which drastically reduces my abilities to keep my morale up by eating food and also drastically reduces my abilities to eat anything I find. As well, I have fangs, which gives me an extra attack. I have a growling voice. I hate fruits and vegetables. I just got this, a pair of bumps on my skull, so I don't know what that's gonna mean. I am using martial arts training. I'm choosing karate as my like main attack. I have night vision. I just recently got slit nostrils, which actually is a bad one. It gives me a, a mouth encumbrance. So it kind of sucks. I'm smart, terrifying, tough, and I have whiskers, which I think is adorable. Um, so I'm actually in evac shelter right now. And if you take a look on the map, I have this small, tiny little, it's not even really a town, it's a village. And I've basically cleared it out. I know that there's some horrible zombies hanging around. As well, I've been visiting these mansions in order to collect books and other materials. And one of the real beauties that I found was a broadsword, which is actually currently in a scabbard right now. Oops, there we go. Yeah, it's, uh, I've scabbarded my broadsword. I don't know if I'm gonna use it, but I'm definitely gonna carry it around. And I have so many books. So today's episode is gonna be reading books, making sure that all my, uh, my inventory items are reinforced, training up my uh, tailoring skill, and just generally surviving. Uh, I just recently got over a cold, not in real life, but in the game, which has really, it, it was, believe it or not, in the post-apocalyptic world, a cold is a serious deal. It took me six in-game days to get over it, and during that time, I was constantly tired, I was, eating a ton of food and drinking a ton of water. It was a huge problem. But for now, I wanna read Outdoor Adventures so I can learn some of these recipes. The great thing about living in a shelter or an evac shelter is the fact that you can sit by the console all day long and read. It's one of the best things about being in here. And it's pretty far away from the town, so it's not too dangerous. Ooh, just learned a recipe for fish bait. So I'm gonna try and learn as much as I can. Awesome. Oh, a plastic fish trap. I actually wanna check the, uh, how do I make that? I'm gonna press capital F, fish trap. A plastic fish trap. This is a makeshift fish trap made from plastic bottles. It's simple, even primitive, but easy to use. The principle of action. The fish swims inside for bait, but can't get out. Not humane, prohibited by law, but there are no cops left to care. So it needs 10 plastic bottles, holy moly, and some string. And it looks like I don't, oh, I can, okay. I see, I can charge, I can reload it with fish bait. That's amazing. I actually am not sure if I have a river nearby. Let me check my map. I have some swamps, but a river would really be best. Now is that, this Outdoor Adventures is not quite done. Uh, I'll read a little bit more and see if I can't learn a couple more recipes. Oh, but I don't have the skill to learn them. So I'll just drop that right here in my giant pile of books. I can still read, but I don't have the skill for it. Let's eat a little bit of pork stick. Mmm, yummy. Drink some water. And I actually kind of need to go hunting right now because I have no more meat left. So... I actually have power storage on my character. If I press capital, nope, lowercase p, you can see that I have a joint torsion ratchet, which will generate power as I walk. 
an internal chronometer so I don't need any watches, and implanted night vision. I'll just turn that on right now so you can see what it looks like. It's really cool. Now I heard some sound below my house. Let's see if I can't find that creature that was making all that racket. Cause I'm hungry. Oh, there's a rattlesnake. I can eat rattlesnake. Come here, little bud. Boom, boom. Yeah, so I'm gonna butcher that guy up. Oh, and I destroyed the meat, darn it. Let's see what's in the forest here. We've got, we've got a dog. I don't really wanna eat dog. I know you shouldn't be picky in the apocalypse, but oh man, there's so many dogs. I'd really like to eat something that doesn't have a cute face. Oh, there's a rat. Oh, it's a squirrel. Oh, and there you saw my power just ran out, so I no longer have night vision. Come here, little buddy. <laughs> he is just running from me. Come on, buddy. Come back here. Ah, oh, he's getting away. Let's see if I follow. Oh, there's a bear. Hmm. Don't know if I want to take on a bear with my bear hands. I know that's pretty badass, but uh, pretty dangerous too. So this is also a dog, I think. Yeah. Hmm. There's a cat. I also don't want to eat cat. I don't know. It just seems kind of heartless. These are like animals that have gone feral during the apocalypse. Just seems kind of like a dick move. Let's see. So I did just see another squirrel. Oh, and he let me get close enough to hit him. Let's see if I can butcher him. Darn it. I'm not doing great with my butchering today. I know to the north of me there's some ants, so I might head up there. Let's see, what's this that's making a racket? A weasel? Come here, little bud. Come on, come on. There. Okay, and my survival skill went up. Let's see, what's this? A cougar? Yeah, I'll take you on. Come here, little cougar. Oh, and there's an ant. If I can't catch this cougar, I'll definitely catch the ant. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's plenty of meat. So let's light something on fire. I kind of prefer to light big trees on fire. There we go, that'll do. My lighter. Perfect. So let's cook up some cooked meat. And if I hit minus, uh, no. Oh yes, cougar is attacking me. Come on, pal. I thought we were friends. Well, apparently not. You're dead. I'll take some of his sinew. Great for tailoring. And we'll keep cooking. And cooking, cooking. Oh, I accidentally lit that second tree on fire. Sorry. Oh, yes. Did I just... Oh, I'm like burning a little bit. Let's let's step away from the fire a little bit. Oh dear. It's it's like a raging fire. Let's step away from there. I, I may have actually gotten burned. Yeah, whoops. Anyways, let's eat some delicious cooked meat. I'm quite hungry because I left it a while. And let's eat until I'm full and drink some water until I'm slaked. There we go. And head back to my evac shelter. So I am tired, so I'll fall into my bed over here. I actually raided a town, and so I got an, a down-filled blanket and two down-filled pillows. I'm sleeping on like a, a bench, but I feel like it's comfy. It's a nice snuggly little spot. Good, it looks like I actually fell asleep. Yeah, I, re I really hurt myself <laughs> by the fire. That's not ideal. I guess I could build a, uh, a fireplace, but I haven't done that yet. There we go, back to zero, perfect. So what I might do is read another book. 
by the console here. Um, hmm, I've got lots of cool stuff. I might read Popular Mechanics. Cool. Yeah, let's read it. Let's take a look. Looks okay, so I've actually done the book already. Holy moly. I think Popular Mechanics is actually a magazine. So it doesn't have as much in it as possible. Ham Radio would be amazing. It's such a great book. It has a lot of cool uh, recipes, including like the light strip, which is great for when you're living nomadically. You can use that as a, a reading tool. Truck battery, awesome. Oh yes, I learned it. <laughs> I'm getting very thirsty, but I'm very happy, strangely enough. A vehicle tracking device. What the heck is that? It might be an electrical. There it is. A vehicle tracking device. When installed on a vehicle, it allows you to track the vehicle through your PDA. Oh my gosh. I don't have a PDA, but that is amazing. It can be one of the hardest parts of the game is if you forget to put a note onto your map, you have no idea where you left things. So I've still got a little bit of clean water left. I might need to go quickly over to the town and get some toilet water. So I'll just finish up with this one. Learn as many recipes as I can. Oh, okay, I don't have the skill to use them. Dang it. <laughs> I kind of want to see what dance, dance, dance has. Brings my dodging skill. Ah, okay, I don't even need that. My dodging skill is at a ridiculously high number right now. Three. Well, that's not that ridiculous. But my unarmed combat has gone from four to seven, which is fabulous. Let's see if I can learn something from boxing. Unarmed combat? No. That's too bad. I was really excited about that book when I first found it. How about guns and ammo? I don't think I have any marksmanship skill, so that would be a great one to read. I don't actually like using guns in the game because they are so loud. There we go. Oh yeah, I'm just learning all kinds of things. All right, well, I think what I'm gonna do now is continue reading, doing a little bit more prep, and then I'm gonna do a bit of exploring. And I'm gonna do it off camera just so that, you know, there's some action involved with what we're doing. Be right back. Welcome back. During our explorations, we've actually found a lab. And I've decided that we're gonna actually plunge into the depths of this science lab. I played with the idea of maybe going back to the town that was to the north by our evac shelter, and maybe going to the grocery store to level up our cooking skill. But I feel like that's kind of gamey, especially considering I don't actually even need to eat any of the food that we create. I can't eat any of the food that we create. So instead, I'm gonna take our wonderful hero, Felix, the volunteer mutant, and we're gonna head into the depths of this very dangerous lab. Now here's hoping we're okay. I'm gonna be activating my bionics. We're gonna be using our night vision as sparingly as we can because I don't actually have, oh, there's a turret there. Close the door. Uh, I wish there was a way I could, is there anything I can drop right in front of this door so I know that it's dangerous? Hmm, maybe I should have brought some rocks. Let's take a look. I'm going to go north. Oh, I hear some sound. Nothing there. Oh, here's someone's room. Advanced electronic cigarette. So I'm going to actually turn off my bionics just to preserve some power. French maid hat. <gasps> Oh, if I was a girl, I'd totally wear that. I mean, a girl in the game. Wooden clogs. Best practices for compound delivery. Oh, excellent. I wonder what that would require in order to read. Oh, there's duct tape here. <gasps> Look at all these clothes. Just take the duct tape for now. And we will head and peek into this room. Oh, there's a man hack. Uh, I think I'll take it on. If the man hack comes close, I'll just swing and hit him. Man hacks aren't too bad if your encumbrance is low. There we 
There we go. I'm just going to quickly butcher that. Oh, okay, so he broke right away. What? I just heard something behind me? That's weird. Skitterbot. What in the world is a skitterbot? An insectoid robot the size of a small dog designed for home security. Armed with two close-range tasers. Oh, man. It can skate across the ground with great speed. Already regretting this. It shocked me. So this is going to cause a lot of pain just to touch this bot. Dang it. Okay, so I beat up one. The second one, hopefully, I can get. Yeah, okay. So it dropped uh, batteries. I'll take that. Let's investigate this room that they left behind for us. Definitely going to take the clean water for now. Anything in these? Okay. So in order to not get lost in this lab, I'm going to put a note where the staircase was because I find that's probably the trickiest part of a lab. So let's oop, <laughs> let's open our map, put a note here, stairs up. I really hate getting lost in labs. They are very tricky. So let's go this way, peek through this door. What is this? A cloning vat which is firmly sealed and there's something inside this cloning vat. I wonder if I should smash and see what's in there. Uh, I don't think I'm brave enough. Let's take a look. Bleach. I would like some bleach later, but for now, I'm just looking for anything that'll increase my cooking skill. Oh, I heard a womp to the southwest. Not ideal. What's here? Blankets? Yeah, I don't need blankets right now, but thanks for thinking of me. Let's take a look. Lab Journal Dion. This team logbook details several varieties of mutagenic experiments, focusing on those that derive from various Earth fauna. The team seems quite enthusiastic, if, if not eager, about the results. Cool. I will take it. So many books on mute mutants. This is great. This is like my home. I can imagine that this is probably the lab that actually my character came from. Oh, royal jelly, I will take that. Chemical reference, classified. Oh, awesome. Do I have this upstairs? What have I become? I've just heard this. Do I stop picking up and ignore? I'm gonna ignore the distraction, but that's really creepy. Who's here? Who am I hearing? Uh, oh, I'll take that super glue. So there might be a mutant in here. I Some of this lab stuff is new to me. You've spotted a dissector to the northwest. That's okay. I'm not scared. Dissectors are my friends. And another dissector. Take cotton balls. <gasps> Broken cyborg. Okay, let's take a look at this guy. A robot body with the head of a human. All kinds of electronic wires and devices are implanted in its head. Patches of its skin look diseased or rotting. This cyborg moves erratically. Oh, poor guy. Well, I'm going to beat you up. Karate chop! Okay, he's hitting me, but it looks like I'm just a little bit faster than him. Oh, buddy, I'm so sorry. Let's butcher him. A fused lump of biocircuitry. What is... Oh, I see. Like a bionic. <laughs> For a second there, I was like, what? I really don't need this uh, burnt out bionic. Oop, wrong one. Let's drop that. Oh, that's so sad. We are in the lab. Getting scared by bad guys. Oh, zombie scientist. Hello, my friend. This is like I'm getting back at the awful scientists who hurt me. Hi, scientist. Because I imagine even though Felix, our character, has 
was a willing mutant, he never intended to be such a monstrosity. Okay, did I butcher these two guys? Yeah, butcher, butcher. Did you leave me anything? He has a cent on his cash card. Thanks. Not picking that up. Chemistry textbook. Awesome. He has an air filtration system. Implanted in your trachea is an advanced filtration system. If toxin find their way into your windpipe, the filter will attempt to remove them. That sounds fabulous. Let's take it. Leather corset. Oh, naughty, naughty. I'm going to take that soldering iron, actually. Uh, oh, something in there. Tank top. These poor scientists trapped in here. Bifocal glasses. Nerds. So I can hear somebody rooting around in here. Might be in here. Okay, another skitterbot. Hey, bud. You want to fight me in this bottlenecked doorway? Yes. Let's fight. He's quick, but not quick enough. Hi, man hack. Come back. Come on. Let's just be friends. There we go. Chunk of steel. I'll take your batteries, though, broken skitterbot. Oh, yeah, totally. There we go. What did he drop? Tasers? <laughs> oh, man. Cool. So there is a downstairs here. I don't think I'm ready for the downstairs yet. Logging into barracks entrance. Bypass security? Quit. So this must be... I don't think I want to go in here. But I'll put a note on here anyways. And just say... Barracks entrance. Spooky. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Not ready for that jelly. Oh god, turret. Oh. oh, so many man hacks. Hi, guys. Does anyone want to fight me in this doorway? Anybody? Anybody? Bueller? Okay, no one really wants to stand and fight. That's okay. I'll chase them down with my karate. There we go. Always take some batteries. Yeah, let's disassemble this. Nope. Spike, spike, processor board, and RAM. Gotta get us some RAM. Yeah. Cool. Antenna. Oh, cool little dudes. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't really want to step in a teleporter pad at this point. Okay, that had a turret in it, so we're going to ignore that. What do I see way down here? A console, which is on. Hmm. Yeah, let's step that way. Another console. Okay, so we have a zombie brute shut inside a glass cage. Hi, bud. How's life going for you? Containment control? Nope. I think that zombie brute can stay exactly where he is. What's this? Containment control? Nope. I think that's for all these little areas that these guys are living in. Oh, something there. Autobiography of a Mountain Man. An amusingly historical novel filled with detailed description of surviving in the wilds. Perfect. Ignore. Human corpse. I can't, can't, can't help that. That's sad, but true. Oh, turret close. Turret. Ah, oh, man. Lots of turrets around here. So I'm hearing some spooky sounds. What's in here? Mini flamethrower CBM. Oh, the index finger of both hands have a powerful fire starter which extend from the tip. I'm taking that. Pair of leather gloves, pair of welding goggles. I'll definitely take that. Oh my gosh. 
This is awesome. I'm just going to smash some of these crates. Nothing in those. Some antennas. Making a lot of sound, but that can't be helped. Because I am a hungry honey badger. Oh, hello, scientist. Oh, God. Okay, we're going to just take some invasive maneuvers here. Maybe they'll smash those boxes for me. Guys, you coming? <laughs> they're, they're, they're still smashing. Okay. Ow! Bastard. Lots of zombies in here. Oop. Just walk straight into that. Oh, bad moves. Tactically bad. Butcher, butcher, butcher. Nope. <sighs> Socks. Burnt out bionics. Some money. Linux shirt. <laughs> Nothing in these boxes. <laughs> Not great at smashing. There we go. There are many items here. Nothing that I want. I guess I could make a crowbar, but meh. <laughs> Forget it. Hi, man hack. Let's talk. Let's talk about me beating you up. What's in here? Ah, <gasps> salt water. Long string. Ignore. Pair of scissors, got that already, thanks though. I don't need a dust mask if I'm gonna have a nice little filter. Another downstairs. Hmm. Come here, man hack. There we go. Oh, what's this? Uh I it wants me to use the mechanical winch, but I don't even know what that opens. Let's let's do it. Worst case scenario. It's a horrible decision. Dang it, I wish I had a crowbar. Oh. Smash! Lumps of steel. I might be breaking what's inside these things. Many items. Uh, Kevlar plate, battery. All right, I'll go make a makeshift crowbar. It's high time that I did this. I'll just go back up here to these lockers. Oh, it's a display rack. Might still give me a pipe. Yeah. Okay. So makeshift crowbar. You can't see to craft. Well, I might have a flashlight. There we go. Ah, let there be light. Perfect. I'm gonna turn off that flashlight because I really don't need it. No sense wasting batteries if you don't need to. Okay, what number? Oh, it became. What's let's see what's in here. Spring ram. Oh, boring. <laughs> I love how the crowbar still doesn't always work. Ceramic armor plate. Hmm. Ceramic armor plate. Come on, open sesame. There's nothing to pry there. Oh, this is already open? Get out of my way. Okay, now I'll be able to reach these. I might smash these too. There we go. So I should be able to reach everything. Activate crowbar. Zippo, activate crowbar, down. Spring, activate crowbar this way. Goo canister. Cool. Oh, and a PDA. Perfect. What's a clean suit? A simple hazardous materials handling suit. Though somewhat restrictive and fragile, wearing it will provide excellent protection against ambient radiation. Well, why would we want that? <laughs> I want to mutate. Okay, so that's those open. I bet there's a ton in here too. Oh man. 
It's almost a pain. Just goes to show. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, this is just almost annoying that I have to open all these. Solder, sure. Ignore. We are in a lab. Enjoying our life. Ac extra battery mod. This is a homemade battery compartment made with some spare electronics. With enough electronic skill, you could attach this to an any electric tool to double the amount of batteries you can hold. Awesome. Okay, nothing. Zippo. Dunzo. Was really hoping for some more cookbooks. Ooh, goo. Don't want that. There's a refrigerator here. Ooh, a riot helmet. A helmet with a plastic shield that covers your entire face. Hmm. Its encumbrance is two, which I don't think I can suffer through. What's in here? Looks like a conference room. Papaya, fruit jam, fruit juice. Can't eat any of that crap. Ooh, water. Cool. What's this? Prisoner containment entrance. Hmm. I'm intrigued. Let me eat some cooked meat. Drink some water. Hmm. I have, I think, zero computer skill. Yep. That's exactly it. So it would actually be more dangerous to open it than otherwise. We got a bathroom here. Not too intriguing. What's this? Oh, it's an elevator. Cool. Nothing in these shelves. Crazy. Glass jar, not so interesting. Clean water. Funnel. Uh, nothing here. Yeah. Oh, missed something. Funnel. I love these huge rooms that have nothing in them. And by love, I mean hate. Here we go. Plastic bottle with oxidizing powder. I'll definitely take that. Another chemical reference. Classified. Lab journal Gustav. Screwdriver. I don't need that. Let me just turn on my flashlight for a second. Actually, I'll turn on my CBM. Okay, I'm getting, I'm seeing what's going on here. Ooh, something's down here. I'm gonna turn off my bionics. A what? Zombie bio operator. This armor and augmented soldier's bionics crackle with energy. Worse, it appears to remember its training. <gasps> okay, I have two options here. I could close the door and run away. Or I could try and beat this guy up. Oh boy. Well, no reward without risk. So let's try it out. Come here, buddy. Okay. Zombie bio-operator versus Felix the Furious Fist. <gasps> wow. In one exchange, I got him for 16. And he hit me, he hit me and knocked me to the ground. Okay, I critically hit him, but he is shocking me while I hit him. Holy snot. Okay, I'm still chopping him. He's moderately injured at this point. He's knocked to the, I'm knocked to the floor. He slams my left leg. I hit the ground face first. I don't actually know if I'm even standing. Whoa, I'm bleeding now. Oh my gosh. Pain 30. This is, this is a dangerous guy. Severely injured. Okay, he's at his wit's end here. Whew. This is the fight of my life right now. Boom! Got him. Okay, let's immediately deal with our bleeding. Capital R, and I'm going to use that on my left arm. I stopped the bleeding. I think he actually ripped my trench coat. 
off. Yeah, it's gone. It no longer exists. Wow. Let's butcher this bastard. So he had combat boots, a chest rig, which I'll absolutely take. It's encumbrance zero, and it gives me some storage. Blood analysis. CBM. Small sensors have been implanted in your heart, allowing you to analyze your blood. This will detect many illnesses, drugs, and other conditions. Yeah, I'll take it. It's a brass catcher. A bag that hangs off the side of your gun and catches ejected casings, so you don't have to pick them up. Cool. I'll take it. I mean, I don't plan on using any anything like that. Okay, that guy was hard. What's in here? Solder. Solder. Wow. That was punishing. Under the hood. No thanks. I'm going to take all this solder. I don't know if I'll need it. And I'll definitely take this lighter. Brutal. That was so scary. I'm still reeling from it. 50 threads. I'll take the thread. Okay, now that we've defeated him, my pain is extreme. Maybe I should spend some time just healing stuff up. I'll take a drink of water. Let's take some aspirin for the pain and use our bandages on some of our most damaged areas, like our left arm. That was tough. Whew. Super scary. Man, what a jerk. So we're actually pretty close to the stairs up, so I might actually kind of weave that way. There's our cloning chamber. Oh yeah, well, I've been in this chamber, I feel like. Well, maybe not. But I've been close to this chamber for a while. Let's head straight up. Butcher knife. Oh, hazmat zombie. Yeah, my pain is pretty critical right now. Let's butcher him quickly. Wrapped radiation badge. Mm. Turret close. What's in here? I can hear a lot of sound. I'll take that lie. More skitterbots. Ugh. Forget it. <laughs> Forget it. Oh god. <laughs> turret. That's also the turret, I imagine. No. Oh, you know what? While I'm here, I should smash this refrigerator. I, you don't seem to be damaging the refrigerator. Okay. If I wield my crowbar, I should be able to smash it. I just wanted to grab a rubber hose. And now I'm just gonna unwield that. So maybe I'll just drop it for a second and pick it back up. I find that's kind of the fastest way for an unarmed person to unwield things. Okay, so how do I make my way back to maybe I'll go this way, because I wanna hit I wanna hit the stairs again. Is it this way? Good guess. Here we are. Let's head back up. Hooray, we're back on the surface. Whew, we made it. All right, I'm going to leave this episode off right here. And hopefully when I come back, I'll be all healed up and ready to go. Thanks for watching.